OpenAI just announced the Stargate project, which we kind of heard rumors of just a few months ago, but now it is reality. $500 billion going into AI infrastructure in the United States. They will immediately begin deploying $100 billion with their first fab in Texas. There's a lot to unpack here, so let me talk about a few things. So in the announcement, it says the initial equity funders in Stargate are SoftBank, OpenAI, Oracle, and MGX. Now, SoftBank is the mega investment firm out of Japan run by Masayoshi-san, and he is known for making incredibly big and bold bets. He was also the one who invested heavily in WeWork before they crashed, but he's also had a ton of other incredible investments. Obviously, we know who OpenAI is, we know who Oracle is, and I had actually not heard of MGX before. SoftBank has financial responsibility, as it says here, and OpenAI has operational responsibility. This is massive. Just a few months ago, it was rumored that Sam Altman was looking to raise $7 trillion. Now, obviously, it didn't get there, but $500 billion is a massive sum. Now, who are the players outside of the funders? Well, we have Arm. Obviously, they're the chip company responsible for a huge portion of mobile chips. We have Microsoft. We'll get to how this affects the relationship between OpenAI and Microsoft in a minute. We also have NVIDIA big announcement for them, and Oracle. And these are the technology partners. They've already started the build out in Texas, and they are currently evaluating sites across the United States for additional factories. Now, the important part, this infrastructure will secure American leadership in AI, create hundreds of thousands of American jobs, and generate massive economic benefit for the entire world. This project will not only support the reindustrialization of the United States, but also provide a strategic capability to protect the national security of America and its allies. Boy, I bet Elon Musk is a little irked by this, because until now, he has had the biggest piggy bank for buying massive GPU farms. Now, let's get to the relationship between Microsoft and OpenAI. As you know, Microsoft owns a significant portion, about 50% of OpenAI. Now, as soon as OpenAI achieves AGI, whatever that definition is, then Microsoft no longer gets access to OpenAI's cutting edge models preferentially. However, they've basically changed the goalpost and Microsoft realized the definition of AGI more or less is here and they still want a big piece of open AI. Now this initiative moves them away from being the only the exclusive cloud provider for OpenAI. OpenAI will continue to increase its consumption of Azure as OpenAI continues its work with Microsoft with this additional compute to train leading models and deliver great products and services. What is really being said here, and I'm gonna go over the Microsoft announcement, is we're diversifying who we're working with. Now, it feels like Microsoft is losing out a little bit here, but I don't think they had much of a choice. All of us look forward to continuing to build and develop AI, and in particular, AGI for the benefit of all humanity. That is their stated mission, OpenAI. Now, if you remember back to the situational awareness paper by Leopold Aschenbrenner, he kind of predicted a lot of this stuff. I made a great breakdown of it. I'll link that down below. But basically, in it, he said America, to win the AI race, needs to invest heavily. And this is it. This is a massive investment. And we're building it in the US, which is amazing. Now, what does Microsoft have to say about it? Obviously, their PR team is working in overdrive to make this seem like a good thing. And maybe I'm missing something, but it sure seems like OpenAI is outgrowing Microsoft. We are thrilled to continue our strategic partnership with OpenAI and a partner on Stargate. Today's announcement is complementary to what our two companies have been working on together since 2019. Complementary, I don't know, but we'll see. The key elements of our partnership remain in place for the duration of our contract through 2030. With our access to OpenAI's IP, our revenue sharing agreements, and our exclusivity on OpenAI's API, is all continuing forward. Specifically, Microsoft has rights to open AI IP, and that is the case until AGI. But now I think that clause has been removed. For use within our products like Copilot, this means our customers have access to the best models for their needs. The OpenAI API is exclusive to Azure, runs on Azure, and is also available through the Azure OpenAI service. 
This agreement means customers benefit from having access to leading models on Microsoft platforms and direct from OpenAI. Microsoft and OpenAI have revenue sharing agreements that flow both ways. Microsoft remains a major investor in OpenAI, providing funding and capacity to support their advancements and in turn benefiting from their growth in valuation. A lot of, no, 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 it's okay. We promise we're still heavily invested in OpenAI. This doesn't affect us. This makes us better. But I think at a certain point, OpenAI and Sam Altman have bigger visions than what Microsoft can accommodate. And we're going to see how that plays out. It has been shown Sam Altman is pretty ruthless in a business sense. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments below. So here's the key. Buried under all of these other awesome things that the partnership still has in addition to this, OpenAI recently made a new large Azure commitment. Great. This new agreement also includes changes to the exclusivity on new capacity, moving to a model where Microsoft has the right of first refusal. Now, what happens when capacity is available elsewhere outside of Azure? What happens when capacity is cheaper than what Microsoft is able to provide? Their right of first refusal, which basically means they get the first option, they say, hey, we're able to get this price elsewhere. Can you match that? Microsoft is going to have to say, well, we're going to lose money on it. So either we do it and we lose money or we don't do it and we lose open AI. So we'll see how this is going to shake out. Now, not everybody is happy about this, or at least not everybody thinks this is positive. Ethan Mollick, professor at Wharton of AI, 500 billion committed to AGI, still no articulated vision of what a world with AGI looks like for most people. Even the huge essay by the CEO of Anthropic doesn't paint a vivid picture. For those convinced they are making AGI soon, what does daily life look like in five to 10 years later? Let's leave aside the risk of catastrophe for now. Assume we get an aligned AGI that supercharges science and we have a healthier, more advanced, safer world. What does that actually mean for most people? What does their life look like in the future? Hint, UBI is not an answer. So we don't know. This is all so dynamic and it's impossible to predict because things are changing and moving so quickly. But how else are we going to get there? We could spend all this time planning and then other countries will win. And as we've read in the situational awareness paper, there is only a binary outcome with winning. Whoever reaches AGI first wins because AGI then builds ASI, artificial super intelligence. And then whoever has that is the ultimate superpower. So it's kind of a chicken in the egg situation. We just need to do it. And one final tweet from Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA, how it started, one DGX, this is a DGX server going to Elon Musk, how it's going, 2% of the US GDP. So obviously it's going quite well for NVIDIA. No matter if Microsoft wins, OpenAI wins, Anthropic wins, no matter what, NVIDIA wins. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.